Hello! Hello! So, earlier today, Funko revealed their new Curse of Dreadbear action figures, and they, in, I don't know, I've been pretty excited for this wave for a long time, I'm really happy it actually got made, and I guess we'll just look at the figures, since these guys look very good, like, just overall, this is probably one of the best waves Funko has ever done, so... Let's start off with Dreadbear, who is su surprisingly the w probably one of the best-looking Funko figures. Like, they've said that these colors aren't final, but, like, even if they are, like, I don't care if he's a little too green. He looks perfect. Like, his sculpt, there's nothing wrong with his sculpt. I can't, I can't name, like, he just looks so good. He looks just like Dreadbear. This, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better with this figure, so I don't really have much to comment on. There's just not a lot to comment on. Like, he's just, he's very detailed. He has a, all those little marks on him. He's got every detail he should have. He's even got the big slit on his snout, and he's got the little stitch marks on his hat. Uh, his eyes are pure white, and I just overall really like this figure. And he's got a hollow torso, which is also very nice. So, great job, Funko. Definitely, I love this Dreadbear. Alright, now let's move on to Glitch Trap. Definitely the most hyped figure from this wave. So, I'm not going to say he's bad because he's not. Definitely not. But, there's just something off about his whole... I don't know. So, his sculpt is fine. I like his sculpt. His sculpt is pretty good. Although, something's a little off about his face. I'm pretty sure it's the size of his eyes. His eyes are a little too small. And I'm pretty sure that's just the Funko thing. They've gotten eyes too small before. Like they did with the whole FNAF 1 cast. They just made their eyes a little too small. Which made their faces kind of look dumb. But, I don't think it looks too bad on Glitch Trap. His body is... All the sculpting is nice. He's got all the stitch marks. He's got all the wrinkles in his suit. Very good. So, yeah. Um... I'm just surprised this guy looks really good, but my biggest, there's a big, one big issue with this guy that people are defending, saying like, oh, he can't have, he can't have, he has to have joints because he's an action figure, he has to have those giant joints, but I don't think Funko should have made them silver, like, I don't think, that's probably like the most wrong color you could have made it, like, like, it should have been, like, yellow, because that would have been better, because it doesn't match. Like, Glitch Trap doesn't have joints, so with this style of action figure, I feel like the just the easiest route to get out of this is to just give him some yellow joints and call it a day. But they didn't even do that. They gave him silver, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not a fan of his joints. But I do like his sculpt a lot. He doesn't have any stars on his vest, but that's not a huge deal. Overall, I think they did a pretty good job on Glitch Trap. Now let's move on to Grim Foxy. So, this guy, again, Funko did a pretty good job, but there's just some issues. So, his... Okay, so this one definitely isn't as nothing too major on him, um, but his head mold is reused. They reused Nightmare Foxy's head, and they turned it into Grim Foxy, which is disappointing, since Grim Foxy does have a very different head shape than Nightmare Foxy, and you can definitely tell by looking at this figure and comparing it to Grim Foxy's actual model. He just looks off, but... I do like all the details, like the transparent torso, and eh, I'm still iffy about that. But the his little spikes coming out of his shoulders look awesome. I like his body. I think it all looks good. I like his big hook. Uh, I like his hand, how it's in a different pose, and he's like clenching his fingers or whatever that's do whatever that is, whatever you call that. Uh, I really like how they did him. He's very detailed. He's very nice looking. Just head mold is a little off. All right. So next up we got Jacko Bonnie. So. 
this figure, I we everybody's been wanting this figure for a while since, well, Jack O'Chica got made, but he never did. So now Jack O'Bonnie finally got a figure, and was it worth the wait? Eh, I mean it's. I'm not sure. So he's got this. He obviously reuses Nightmare Bonnie's sculpt. We could have guessed that, but my issue with him is that. He's got the yellow paint inside of his eyes, but not in his mouth or his torso, which is just very strange. They just made his mouth and his torso orange. Of course, Funko did say the colors weren't final, so maybe the final figure will have yellow in there. But based on this image, he just looks pretty plain. Not bad. Not bad at all, but just a little plain. But still, pretty good looking figure. And now the final figure in this wave, the Walmart exclusive that we didn't even know was coming, Captain Foxy. So I was not expecting this to be a figure, but I'm glad he is. This looks great. So he just has the same head mold as the original Foxy, but they did recolor him so he does look, uh, look more like the color scheme of the Help Wanted Foxy model. His hat looks great, his little pirate hat. I love his vest. His vest, it were not a, that's not a vest, it's his coat. His pirate coat looks great. I love all the little details on it. It looks amazing. And, of course, this is the first figure that's a, that's just a character we've already gotten in with, with an outfit on. So, that's a little interesting thing to keep note of. Uh, I... Come on, Funko, give me give me Firework Freddy, please. But, yeah. I, I like this figure a lot. I think for what they did with him, like, this is kind of, like, this is probably the best they could have done of Captain Foxy, unless they wanted to, like, remaster their Foxy's head mold, but everybody knows they're too lazy to do that. But, yeah, I think this makes up, this definitely makes up for there being no Foxy in the Easter wave. I like this figure. He's very good. So yeah, that is all of the action figures. So overall, what I think of this action figure wave is I think it is good. I think it's great, it's great, it's great. It's a great wave. Uh, sorry, this video isn't scripted or anything. I'm just kind of talking off the top of my head on what I think about these guys. So yeah, I really like how this wave wave turned out. Funko did a great job with all these action figures, and I'm really looking forward to them releasing so I can see what they actually look like. And one extra thing to add on, Nightmare Bonnie doesn't match up with Jack O'Chica, or n not Nightmare Bonnie, um, Jack O'Bonnie doesn't match up with Jack O'Chica. They're done completely differently, like Jack O'Chica, they're, they look, they don't match with each other, which is kind of disappointing. Like, I was kind of hoping that they're, that how they did the insides would be the same, but it isn't. But I do think how they did the insides on Jack O'Bonny does look better than how they did it on Jack O'Chica. So, at least they did it better, even though it's inconsistent. And also, let's talk about this packaging. So, we got some Curse of Dreadbear specific pumpkins. That's, like, original artwork of the pumpkins from Dr Curse of Dreadbear. You got, like, gravestones and, like, old tr old trees and stuff in the background. Very, very good packaging. Very Halloween-themed. I love it a lot. They did an amazing job on this packaging. This is probably some of the best packaging that they've ever done, actually. So, I'm probably gonna get, like, an extra Dreadbear or something, or an extra Captain Foxy and keep him in the box... Because that's what I do when I like the packaging Funko puts out. I keep, I keep, get a second one and keep it in the box. So yeah. Overall, this action, this wave is good. This is a great, this is a great wave. Funko did a great job. A plus. A plus 100. Good job. So now let's quickly go over these plushies since this video has already been 10 minutes. So if we look at Grim Foxy, as you can see, um... All printed on material, which at least it's not the security breach material. It's actually like a soft material, so that's good. 
Um, I do think the color they use for the yellow is off, though. And I think there's, like, why is it coming up the uh, bottom of his head? Like, that doesn't make sense. It's coming out of his snout and his eye, which makes sense, but why the bottom of his head? And, like, his entire body, it just looks like it's... They put way too much glow there. And the withering just looks kind of odd, kind of pretty odd. But I do like how they did the hook. I do like how they did his feet and stuff. And the tag looks very nice, just like the action figure packaging. Now let's move on to Jacko Bonnie's plushie. So, Jacko Bonnie's plushie, I'm kind of confused. So, his bow tie is orange for one, which obvious which they didn't they didn't get that wrong on the action figure so it's weird that they got it wrong on the plushie uh i do like his ears his ears look pretty nice i like i actually like how the withering looks on his ears but it isn't consistent with his torso which all has some bright yellow withering also one of his feet is gray and one of them is one of his feet is brown and one of them is orange which i get they were trying to do like the metal foot but like brown are you seriously his head shape is a little weird, but I do like his face design. I think his face looks pretty nice. Uh, I I think his eyes are weird, how they don't match each other. Like, why why don't his eyes match? I I, I don't get that. But they either sh they should definitely should have made both of it. Maybe they are probably the contemplating between two designs, and then for some reason they just decided to put both designs on him, and it's just pretty off. I'm not not too sure about those about those eyes, but I feel like if the eyes were different, I would like this plushie a lot more. But overall, this plushie's decent. Next, we got Jacko Chica, and man, I, I'm disappointed by this one. So Jacko Chica is one of my favorite FNAF characters, and I was really excited for this plushie. I was really hoping it would look good, but. Eh, let's just start with the obvious parts. Uh, the t the body, the bit, the ripped bib looks fine, but then all the all the withering is the same issues I have with Grim Foxy and Jack O'Bonny. It's probably way too bright. The colors off. Uh, the feet look fine, the hands look fine, um, but then the face. So she g they gave her this little tiny beak, which. Everybody knows that um, Jacko Chica or Nightmare Chica have this have a giant beak that goes across their entire face, but Funko didn't do that, and they also printed on the teeth, which I guess it looks fine. I like the teeth design, but like the the beak is just way too small, and the eyes are consistent with each other, unlike Jacko Bonnie, which is good. But I'm I like I don't know. I guess the eyes look decent, but the head shape is completely round. Which is obviously not accurate to nightmare to to nightmare or Jacko Chica, and the tufts of hair on the head are extremely small, which is very strange. So overall, this plushie is just odd to me, and I'm not a huge fan of it. But I think they made up for that with Dreadbear. Oh my God, I love this guy. So his face, he just looks so goofy. I love him. So he's got this big goofy face. I love I love his little I love his expression. Uh, his he got a little tiny hat. He's got the bolts on the side of his head. He's got his teeth. Uh, they this is just a great plushie. The withering on his torso actually looks pretty good. Um, one of his legs is actually a different color, which is odd. That's probably just the prototype though. But yeah, this plushie I love this plushie. It's so good. It's this is prob this is definitely one of my favorite Funko plushies they've ever made. He looks so good. Yeah, I I really like how they did Dreadbear. But then now we got the final plushie, which is a Walmart exclusive. We got Captain Foxy. So Captain Foxy's plushie is I mean, they redid their original Foxy's head, which is fine. And I do think that this head is, it's good. It's, it looks, it looks very cute. Like, this is a cute plushie. And, um, I like his vest. It's printed on, but it does look pretty nice the way they designed it. He's got a completely different hook, which is nice. He's, I like his hat. His hat looks good. And 
overall, I just really like how this plushie looks. Not much to comment on with Captain Foxy, besides he's cute. And, yeah, pretty good exclusive. So, yeah. I love this wave. Thank you, Funko, for doing a good wave. Keep this up. We, I don't ask, I don't want, like, amazing merchandise. I just want to, like, keep this as the standard, you know? Just nothing too spectacular. Just make some good stuff. That's all I, that's all we really want. So, thank you for watching, and hopefully I can get a hold of these guys in a few months when they release.